Jones is all red in the face, and he gets dropped again. Fourth action. His son, Nicolás, we have tattooed on his hand, and he gets dropped. Marcito has to. Yo, magandang araw mga idol. Dalawang beses mang nabigo na makuha ang inaasam-asam na world champion. Tuloy pa rin sa pagbangon at hindi huminto sa kanyang napiling sports ang tubong Mandawi si Busiti na ngayon naninirahan na sa Bansang Amerika na si Mercito, no Mercy Hesta. Ikalabing apat ng Nobyembre, taong dalawang libo labing siyam nang huling lumaban ng ating tinaguri ang no Mercy ng Pinas kontra sa Meksikano si Carlos Morales kung saan ay technical draw ang kinalabasan ng kanilang laban. Majority draw. Marami sanang laban ang nakahain sa ating kababayan na si Mercito Hesta. Subalit dahil nga sa Corn Beef 19 ay pansamantalang naantala ang mga boxing event sa iba't ibang panig ng bansa. Kaya naman, lahat na atleta ng Pinoy, maging ang ibang lahi ay epektado rin. Ganun pa man, sa kabila ng mga trahedyang bumalot sa ating bida, ay eh nanatili itong malakas at hindi binitawan ang pagboboxing. Sa katunayan mga idol, sa dalawang taon na walang laban si Esta ay hindi ito tumigil sa pag-iensayo at walang inutupag kundi ang magpalakas ng katawan dahil alam niyang darating din ang araw na muli niyang magagamit ang kanyang malamasong galamay. At matapos nga ang dalawang pung taon na paghihintay ay eh muling napalaban ng ating kababayan kontra sa American knockout artist at may bato-batong katawan na si Joel Diaz Jr. Hindi biro ang babanggain ng ating kababayan mga idol sapagkat itong si Diaz ay eh may nakakatakot na 26 wins at apat lamang dito ang masweting nakaabot sa round 12 at merong 80% knockout ratio kaya naman para sa isang boxing ngayon galing sa dalawang taon na pahinga eh hindi talaga ito magiging madaling laban para sa kanya habang si Diaz naman ay eh galing sa dalawang sunod na panalo kaya naman ganun na lamang ang kumpiyansa nito na madali lamang niyang tatalunin ang ating pambato na para bang sinasabi nitong si Diaz na pampatabang bulati na lamang sa kartada niya ang Pinoy fighter tara mga idol at panoorin natin ang kanilang naging bakbakan at kung papaano pinatunayan ni Mercedo Gesta na hindi pa siya kinakalawang training at wild card gym with Marvin Simodio and is Mercedo Gesta His footwork that he naturally has as an advantage. Lands a good one too. Stopping back to head of Hesta. He Coming out attacking right away is Mercito Hesta. So welcome to Golden Boy. Florida won in, in Tijuana, the Grand Hotel last year. He's trying to get back into the mix. After that fight, he took some time off. His son, Nicolás, we have tattooed on his hand and he gets dropped. Marcito Hesta with the, his wife being pregnant for the first time. Oh my goodness, Hesta here with the drop in the first. He's coming, he's all red in the face, and he gets dropped again. Marcito Hesta coming out strong in the first round and not super aggressive. This is not the Marcito He said it did him good, and he's snapping back the head again of Joe Diaz. Digging his Hesta. Another. Hesta. Let's see if they can finish this round. The break that he took, he needed. He's been fighting for so long, and he's looking fresh and good right now. Fresh and ready to go for this fight. Another right, a left from Hesta. Inspired as we're... From the head and to the body. That way, we can see these legs walk away. That. I see that he's boxing more. Yeah, definitely. He's he's trying to box a lot more as as he's starting to throw more combinations. Up there's Diaz. Final seconds of the third. It's heating up. Golden Boy Fight Night, the new series on Dations. He's really starting to land uh, land more like he is right now. Juan well, Diaz went down in the first. He's in white. How do you have it so far, Victor? What do you see? I'm seeing definitely the first round was to Hesta. There was the knockdowns. 
on Hesta, a one-two from Mercito, the southpaw. Work guys landing good punches. I get the last round of Diaz. I'm going into this though, two minutes left. Work session, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I uh, saw bits and pieces of it. He was looking really sharp. And uh, I, I'm, I'm not stumbles forward. Saw the left hook from Hesta again. Again from Hesta. Good one two from Hesta. This is more Hesta style. Two right hands. Right hand hook. And Mercito's good at slipping that. You know, stay off the ropes, right? Right, right. He, he's a mover. He wants to keep moving. And, and Diaz is, is trying to get closer to him. That way he can also land, just like he just did. Two. That one he missed. Uh, because Hesse is, is catching him in between. And those are the punches that are really hurting Diaz. The ones moving. He needs to make sure he's punching tight. Great work with Marvin Samorio. That's Mercito Hesta. And Diaz swinging and a miss, and the wild shot, he can't afford to do that. He can't afford to do that. We'll be back here in Indio, May 12th, with Tito Acosta, the main event. Stopped by Juan Antonio Rodriguez at the Avalon Theater in the ninth from Puerto Rico. That was an upset. And he had to draw the body heel, COVID hit. So over two, shout out to Bercito Hesta, any Filipino that comes in with the Tacos El Gordo sponsorship, you know what's up, that's the San Diego spot. Watch your hands, guys, watch your hands. And he has a fan friendly style, goes after it. The right hook from Hesta. These are the kind of fights we're going to bring you on Golden Boy Fight Night. That's yeah, the business, so you go one way, you go down, and move back and forth, the roller coaster. You fought Jorge Linari, the B-side, technically. So he doesn't feel like that, right? He didn't have that attitude. He didn't have that attitude. He came in. Welling from the left eye of Duelis in 2018 at the Forum. Came up short against the Venezolano. Part of the New Jersey, New York, Madison Square Garden, Queens, Connecticut. He said he understood the business of the boxing. Work, guys, work. You're Where free. You go up, Victor, and you're seeing this as a young undefeated fighter. Everybody's wearing your shirt. Everybody's on your side. But what are you going to get? His family. As we said earlier, his son was his motivation to bring him back in. And the punches through five. You, when you lose, when you get knocked out, where's everybody at? He said after that fight in Fresno, there was nobody there except the wife and Of course they're going to be even at 31%. Back and forth between. And the sport of boxing, both these fighters know you got to, you don't want to go and become the gatekeeper. Right. Yeah, he wants to stay out of that. It looks like he may be starting to slow down just a little bit, but that's a combination of both of them. Not in your control, but what you can't control is what you do in the ring. Right now, Diaz and Hesta going back and forth. Because if you're Marcito Hesta, they're just landing, they're throwing a lot of punches, and they're landing really good shots on each other. Less than a minute to go in the sixth round. Good right hook from Diaz. Now we're swinging a miss. And the pace is slowed down, but the shot hits with the one two. He takes a deep breath and leans against the ropes. And he's taking another deep breath. That's the tired left eye of Joel Diaz. Blood from his mouth. That's the bouncing around. There's one punch. I'm going in there and using my jab to to start to get closer. That's what his coach is. Keep 
his, his defense tight. That way he's not getting caught. On my footwork, doing what I do best and, and being up, setting up that left hand just like he just did with his jab and, and, and setting those combos back up like he did in the first one. Post style, very bouncy. Can land those left hands from a distance, from close, and he makes it up. Rosito was bouncing around the first minute. You see, and Hess is also starting to mix it up to the body with his right hand, too. He's trying to make, he's trying to get Joel to bring his hands down. That way he can still land it. Last some shots. More blood from the mouth of Diaz. He gets tagged with the left. Right hands from Rosito Hesta. A couple of shots. Hesta keeping his hands down. He's feeling very... How do you do that? Could be a combination of he's feeling really confident and... You know, he's starting to feel now that he's in the seventh round. He has a lot. The last round looked like Hester took it off. This one, he's feeling fresh. One, two from Hester. Less than a minute. Uh, too much older, but he does a lot, a lot more experience. He looks like about seven more years of experience in the ring, and, it, and he does take a toll on the body. Both fighters taking a deep breath. So definitely throw action that way he can get more punches. As he's throwing these combinations, he's landing. He just needs to watch his defense. He is trying to sit on his punches. Lands the right hand. Hester says, "Bring it." Hester answers with the right of his own. And lands a right there, Hester. Another right from Hester. Carl Diaz had a big opportunity. I got to show out, and Mercito lands a shot. And Diaz comes back with it. Esther with a shot. Diaz trying to come back. Hesta, Diaz, put on a show. Matapos ang sukdo lang round 10, eh nakuha ng ating kababayan na si Hesta ang panalo. Bayo inanimous decision. Isang magandang laban ang nasaksiyan ng mga manonood. Ito yung mga laban na magandang panoorin. Walang yakapan at walang takbuhan. Sa unang bahagi ng round ay mas nanaig at agresibo kaagad ang ating kababayan. Kaya naman sa round 1 pa lang ay dalawang beses na bumagsak ang American Boxer. Subalit matigas din itong si Diaz. Dahil matapos ang knockdown nito sa round 1, ay unti-unti itong bumalik at nakipagpalitan pa ng mukha kay Gesta. May mga round din na napapatras din ang ating kababayan. Subalit mas nanaig pa rin ang matibay at may malamasong kamao ng Pinoy Kahit mga gumamit ng ipinagbabawal na teknik si Diaz Kung saan ay sinasadya nitong tapakan ng paani Gesta Ganun pa man, nakuha pa rin ng ating kababayan ang panalo oh.